So welcome back to another holiday gift guide. Today we are going to focus on stocking stuffers or whatever you want to call them. Um, I like doing um, stocking stuffers, but I really don't put things in stockings, especially since they're most of the stuff goes to my nieces. Um, I actually like make a little gift bag or basket for them and a basket they can use like throughout the year. Let's go ahead and get started and let's see what I have on my list for the holiday gift guide for stocking stuffers. Okay, so the first thing on my list are portable phone chargers. These are the ones where you can take with you, you can carry them with you wherever you go. If you're traveling, you can put them in your purse, in your travel bag, and you can charge your phone on the go. You can bring them to an amusement park, like I always bring mine to Disney. Um, or if you're going anywhere and you just need a charger really quick, always have like a, a charger already charged and you just plug it into your phone and you can charge your phone just like that because everybody hates not having their phone charged, especially me. I hate not having my phone charged. So I charge my phone all the time, and when I can't charge it, I always have one of these little charger packs, and they are the best thing to have around. Um, I actually have a couple of them. I have a square one that I carry with me, and then I also have a small portable one that I can stick on the bottom of my phone. And I will actually put both of those in here. That way you guys can have an idea of what, I what I'm talking about. Um, I actually also use these chargers to charge up my portable fans that I bring with me because you can actually actually use these for those as well. So I think they, they come in handy for like doubling up on charging whatever you need to charge. So that is one thing. Okay, the next thing that I like to have in my little baskets or stocking stuffers are um, little shower steamers. And they disintegrate while they're in the shower, but they are so amazing and they just smell so good. And especially like in the winter time when you just wanna take a nice hot shower and warm up, you can just like throw one of those in the bottom of the shower and just let it disintegrate. And then like the steam and the hot water just like make the whole shower smell amazing and it actually leaves a nice scent in your bathroom the rest of the day too so if you get the right ones those work really well I usually get mine from Buff City Soap so if you guys have one of those around you can get those there but I'm sure you can get them anywhere I'm sure I don't know if Lush has them but they should um, but anyway you can also get them on Amazon and I will leave a link in the description box below Okay, the next thing, um, just to put in a little basket or stocking, is hair scrunchies or headbands. It's so funny that uh, I'm saying this because this morning my niece Hannah said, if anybody draws my name and they wanna know what to get me, she goes, I've been loving those big chunky headbands. So. That's what she said she would like to have if somebody got her name so so they would know she likes those big chunky headbands. So headbands, hair scrunchies. I use a hair scrunchie um, when I'm pulling my hair back sometimes. I also use the little headbands, not the ones that she's talking about, but you guys saw my little headband that I used to put my makeup on. Um, I use those, so anything like that would be great. Binders, I think you could put in a little basket or stocking. Um, the next thing you could put in there, uh, these are snacks, like their favorite snacks. Like my favorite snack is like Milk Duds. I love Milk Duds. I mean, I could just eat boxes of Milk Duds. I shouldn't, but, I, but I, I, I've been known to do it. Guilty, guilty as charged. <laughs> but I love Milk Duds. So putting Milk Duds in there or little nuts or sausages or anything like that, so when I will do like my husband's little stocking, um, I will put some sausage in there. I will put his favorite pistachios in there. I always get him like M&Ms or kisses and I put that stuff in there as well. So that's a good idea for like a stocking stuffer or a little basket that you're gonna be putting together for somebody. Um, we talked about this one before when I was doing the men's gift guide, but manicure sets, not just for men, but for girls too. Um, you can actually get nail files, you can get some hand lotions, you can get all kinds of stuff with the manicure sets. You can do those fancy little gloves where they have to like soak their hands and all that stuff, but a nice little manicure set would be a nice like a gift to give. Um, ornaments. Ornaments are one of my favorite things to give, um, and I like to give an ornament every single year to my nieces, and now I've started the tradition with my nephew, my nieces, my great niece, Parker, 
I just think having an ornament that's dated and that, that has like the year that you gave it to them and that may be something special to commemorate that year with. So like, you know, this year, this past year in January, Parker and I and, and Courtney, we went to Disney. So getting her a commemorative uh, ornament so she will be able to take that with her when she gets older and hold on to that and put it on one of her trees when she's older. That way, because I mean, you know, I may not be around when she is able to put up her own Christmas tree and she can have these ornaments to remember me by and say, oh yeah, I remember when my Auntie Lala took me here. This was our first, this was our first trip to Disney. So I like things like that, ornaments that, you know, maybe commemorate who they are or what they do. If they're a nurse, you could get an ornament that has to do with nurses. If they're like dogs or hunting or anything like that, but just like an ornament, I think those are just like the perfect little gift to give somebody. And I've been doing that for years for my kids and for my nieces. Um, gift cards. Gift cards are always, always a great idea. Um, you can, if you know the person well, you can always get them a gift card to their favorite place. Hobby Lobby, Kirkland's, Walmart, Target, um, anywhere you know that they like. If they like Starbucks, you could get them a gift card for Starbucks. You know, hey, just so you know, those people who like to have sucked that. Um, local coffee shops are great for gift cards as well. Donut shops, that type of thing. Gift cards to go out to dinner. Maybe they could treat themselves to a dinner one night, which is which would be great. Um, so I think like any type of gift card like that would be awesome. Um, coffee sets. Um, these may not necessarily fit into a stocking, but they do fit into those little baskets that I always talk about that I like to put together. Um, if you know that they're coffee lovers, you could get them um, a gift card and then put some coffee in there from that, that place that you got the gift card from, uh, or even some tea. If they are tea lovers, you could do that. You could do like a really pretty like coffee mug with it and stick the gift card in there. Or you could do a, um, a mug for tea as well and put a gift card in there for some like special tea that they may like. Anything um, that you think will be perfect for that person that you are buying for and just kind of fill that basket up or fill that stocking up full of a few things that you know that they are going to like. Um, if they live in cold climates, you could actually get which I got for my son and Gabby last year for Christmas was um, their hand warmer chargers. <laughs> Those are actually very, very nice too um, to put in a stocking or a basket because if they're outside and they're hunting and they need to charge their phone, they can actually charge their phone and warm their hands at the same time. But just anything like that that fits perfectly in a basket, that fits perfectly in a, in a um, stocking, I think those are all great ideas. If you guys have any other ideas for stocking stuffers or putting baskets together, please leave them in the comment section below because I love taking ideas and seeing what other people do for the holidays. Um, because if I, I miss something, you guys have something there and I may like take that one too. So anyway, thank you guys so much are for uh, sitting down with me for this holiday gift guide. I hope that you guys find this informative and helpful and I hope that um, one of these gifts comes uh, handy for you to give as a gift this year. Um, and I will see you guys in my next one.